guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thanks for joining me once again. I'm your host, Chris, from BeerGeekNation.com. Tonight, guys, we're doing a classic, classic Belgian beer. This, my friends, is from Rodenbach Brewery. This is their Grand Crew, which is basically the grandfather, if you will, of the Flemish sour um, ale style beer. It's basically 33% young beer, which is freshly brewed beer, blended with 67% old beer, which has been um, aged in oak casks for two years. And that's really where you get the sourness and the tartness from this beer. So with that said, let's get into a glass, let you know how it smells, tastes, and let you know if the Rodenbach Grand Cru lives up to the legend. Let's go. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Rodenbach Grand Cru um, lives up to the style's name. You know, honestly, this, probably, this beer really does set the standard for the style. Um, it's kind of a dark brown, hinging, very, very hinging, and almost a, a purplish red, dark red. Um, at the bottom of the glass where the light kind of reflects in the tulip, you can see a nice blood red color to it. There's a nice one and a half, two finger worth of off-white egg well, eggshell white head. Um, nice tight white bubbles. <clears throat> Not a whole lot of alcohol sticking to the side of the glass. Really, really nice lacing around it though. Um, hazy as hell, murky as hell. Um, again, just traditional, traditional to the style of the beer. All right, the aroma on the Grand Cru. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is red wine dryness. It really does have that character, um, kind of a grape skin, that apple skin, the really kind of fruity dryness that you get in a red wine definitely comes through. That's the big aroma that jumps out at you. There's a slight vinegar character to it, kind of an apple vinegar, um, almost a balsamic vinegar type of flavor in there. Slight bready notes coming through. Um, there's a slight, slight bit of uh, like a vanilla character from the oakiness coming through. Just really great stuff. All right, the taste on the Rodenbach Grand Cru. But the first flavors right in your mouth, they kind of just, um, you know, explode with juiciness. That's a big citrus sourness right in the front. As it moves to the middle of the tongue, kind of the middle of the mouth, it starts to kind of aerate itself. And you get these sweet kind of grape notes, um, juicy grape notes, juicy like almost unripened grape notes. There's an apple skin quality to it. You, a, a taste of an actual apple pulp is in there. Um, and I'm get, definitely getting that vinegar kind of character carrying over into the taste. Really, really super dry finish. It has that red wine, almost a champagne type dry finish. No booziness whatsoever to speak of. It's just a nice clean finish. Carbonation really, really helps to clean your palate. And really, it helps your mouth water. I mean, it, my mouth is watering right now. Um, and it just gets you ready for the next drink, and it's just a, a great, refreshing tasting beer. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Rodenbach Grand Cru coming in at 6%, available year round, extremely easy to get. Um, I got to give this one an A. This is a world class beer in my book. It is a perfect example of a Flemish red. It's one of the originals. It's a perfect example of what Belgian beers can be. Um, it's a perfect gateway beer into the world of sours and kind of Flemish style beers. A lot of people compare it to Duchess de Bourgogne which is another big Flemish red. I think Duchess is a little bit more sour um, and not quite as balanced as the Grand Cru is. So I would say start with this one. I definitely recommend this one. Again, it's a world, world-class beer. Perfect example of the style. Um, gets an absolute A plus in my book and it's super easy to drink. I would love to drink this all the time. Um, but with that said, guys, it's gonna need an A plus for me. Remember friends, life is too short. Drink amazing beers, cheers.